Hey, I'm Aspen. And I'm Ubu. And this is Movie Grits. A movie podcast where we talk about everything except the movie we're watching. And today, we're watching... Lady and the Tramp 2019. Okay! okay. On, on with, with the, the show! show. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wow, it started Dude, instantly. Turn this down. I don't want to hear no jazz, Pinocchio. Jazz, Pinocchio? Jazz, Pinocchio? Yeah. Yeah, well, wait, wait, wait. when you wish upon a stars mm. from Pinocchio, I don't want to hear jazz version. Well, I don't know. I thought we just uh, switched it up and you put Pinocchio on instead. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> you can tell it's live action because the color's fading. There goes the soul. Bye bye. Bye bye. No color. And yep, here it's... comes the cash grab. In black and white. Yeah. I'm sure so much cash got grabbed for live-action Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, Every... I mean, I didn't even know it existed. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I knew it existed only on Disney+. Plus. They, they didn't even believe in it. <laughs> they didn't even believe in it. Disney yeah. didn't even believe it existed. Yeah, Disney was like, this is a myth. But if it does exist, streaming only. <laughs> of course. Lady and the Tramp. Starring... Kirsten Dunstan. Hmm. Thomas. Thomas Man! Do, 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 Thomas do, 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 the do. Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine. Mm hmm. What a, what a classic Disney character, that Thomas the Tank Engine. Kudos to you for not calling him Thomas the Train. Who calls That's him a... Thomas, Thomas the Train? Oh, people do. People who didn't grow up with Thomas. They call him Thomas the Train. I go, he's not a train. He's a tank engine. Clancy Brown's in this. Okay, okay. That's uh, Mr. Krabs. Mm, yes, it is. And he's also, Connor, what are you doing with all me money? <laughs> he's also in the um, reprisal season of Dexter, which I think mm. is hilarious. Well, since you brought up something I have no clue about, he's also in Daredevil Season 2 and The Punisher. Oh, I'm so confused and lost by that statement. What? <laughs> he plays a character in the Daredevil TV show. Oh, I've never heard of it. Oh. You should watch it. It's one of the best. Well, I don't know if I can. I don't have Disney+. Plus. <clears throat> Do you have Flick HQ? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It seems, it seems pretty accessible. It seems pretty exclusive. Exclusive as well, yes. Yeah, here, let me, uh, let me do a little Google Google see. I'm sure Daredevil's on it. I think I've only looked up oh, like... Oh, the puppy! It's Lady! And She's a lady! <laughs> <laughs> Flick HQ. Now, Flix HQ, I don't even know what that is, but if I did, mm -hmm. Daredevil would be on it. Ah, okay, gotcha. No, out of like, y'all, there it is. There's the Ben Affleck one, but that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, um, a cute puppy. Anyway, M M MCU wishes they were Daredevil. That that shows that good, but that's 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 the end of it. I promise, I won't get too fixated on Daredevil. I'm just saying, Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin is in it. <laughs> if we go get a picture with the man, it would be cool to say, hey, I watched your show, and he'll say, I, I can't hear you on the other end of the plexiglass! And you'll go, oh yeah, okay, picture time. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> that door hit that dog so hard. The dog is dead. Damn, this is actually all dogs go to heaven live action remake. No. <laughs> this is the tramp. No. How dare you say that about a lady? No, when they fuse together, they turn into the tramp. Mm. Like a Dragon Ball fusion. You know about those. Oh, yeah, I'm well versed. <laughs> Come on, puts, puts it in the nightstand drawer. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's half asleep, he doesn't know what he's doing. Get off me. 
Oh, puppies. That dog's too animated. It's a real dog, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't mean like cartoon. Mm. I meant like go to bed. It's too happy. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Quit being happy, lady. It feels weird. <laughs> it feels weird calling a character that. Quit. Quit being so excited, lady. Also, we're probably gonna, well, at least I'm gonna do the lead at least 40 <laughs> times during this recording. Sorry, not sorry. That that will incentivize me to do it like 50 times. Ooh. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a lady. Go to bed, lady. Or else, lady. It's gonna get thrown in the river. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's got an orb. An orb light. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, oh, that was weird. What a oh, really good jump wow. cut. Wow! Ladies <laughs> all grown up. This is horrible. <laughs> the mouth moving, the eyes, it's gross. What they should do is take a real dog and do like Roger Rabbit cartoon. Like Ooh, eyeballs yeah. and mouth just on top of it. That would make it somehow better. Yeah, cuz they aren't they aren't even trying to make it look real. It just looks goofy as flip. Yeah, probably <laughs> because it's in a movie that they didn't announce to anyone that existed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They kept it secret. This is just a tax write-off. They didn't even want people to watch it. Keep it secret. Keep it secret. It's the this is the 194th model of a lady. No. <laughs> Yeah, what does that number mean? You killed so many dogs. <laughs> this is Lady Mark 194. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Yeah, it's not that good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Matrix. Okay, this is the, the special version of an ice Why did the milkman just leave eggs? Yeah, this looks awful. I... I'm at a loss for words. Anyway, so is there something else to talk about? Because I can't pay attention to this. It's horrible. <laughs> um, I can think of something, maybe. We can we talk could... about our shared lawn mowing efforts today. Oh, yeah. We had a, a, a mutual symbiotic lawn mowing effort on we accident. Did. On accident. We are both grown adults that mowed our lawns today. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. I also did the dishes. Oh. I got... The family dog up. Okay. I let her outside to use turlet. That's good. I also let Chimichanga outside to just hang out for a little bit because mm -hmm. she really likes that. Um, I made some eggs and toast. That was okay. pretty cool. I was, I was gonna make to eggs and bacon. <laughs> I was just trying to think if Chimichanga was the name I came up with or Chalupa is the real name. Chalupa's the real name. Okay, gotcha. Jimmy I'm Chong lost. is the name you, yeah. I'm lost in my own make-believe. It's the Mona Lisa. It's Mona's pizza. It's Peggy. He needs someone to talk to while he drives. Wow! That dog did a, did a transition sweep. The voice. I know that. Ew. I hate it when dogs have the big drool. They have like stalactites of drool. Yes. Yeah, the drool stalactites are no good. Mm hmm. That happened with Patches once, and it was the nastiest thing. I just had to take a picture of it. <laughs> it was so gross. I had to remember. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll just send it to people, and they're like, that's disgusting. And I'm like, hey, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so I don't actually remember the original Lady and Tramp other than the meatball moment. <laughs> the certified meatball moment. Um, So, like, she is just obviously this pampered dog. The, the owners love her. She has friends mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. Um, but she, like... Falls in love with, like, this homeless dog who lives in an alley. Ugh. But he's kind of... Yeah, don't you hate homeless dogs? Yeah. Um, no, but, uh, <laughs> he... But he's he's got, like, that street smart charm, mm -hmm. you know? He's charismatic. 
Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a... <laughs> I can almost feel like if I don't say it, you will. It's a bit of a Jimmy McGill and mm. uh, Kimmy Wexler moment. That's a That's good... That's basically Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> That's a good comparison. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of that. <laughs> See, there he is. They just got this flea-ridden mutt hanging out on the construction site. <laughs> Jimmy McGill is a tramp. Not like mm -hmm. a tramp, but like the dog tramp. He, yes. He's also on a list because he did the, uh, mm -hmm. what was it called? Oh, the something sunroof. The sunroof yeah. thing. Yeah. Chicago sunroof <laughs> or something. Or like Cincinnati or so, something. It's like, like a city that. name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. It might be like the Chicago sunroof. But yeah, it's terrible. He, he took a dump and he he defecated through a sunroof. <laughs> Dead. Slipping, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, that day he really was slipping, Jimmy. <laughs> he slipped into the sunroof. Yeah, something slipped into the sunroof. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ooh, it's terrible, man. I'd be scared if a dog was just running around because you don't know if it's going to, like, tear your arm off or something. I know. Like, people trust dogs too much. But whenever I see a dog just, like, roaming around without an owner, mm. I'm like, I'm going to go the other way, actually. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're, we're all used to dogs being human companions, but not, not, not all of them are. Nope. <laughs> I would say even the ones that people own sometimes aren't. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. There, there have been times where, like, I know good and well this is, like, the neighbor's dog. I still feel like I'm, like, inches away from death. I know. <laughs> Dogs are scary. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, sometimes I'll read through, like, the New Testament, and I'll, I bring this up to, like, my, my other friends, and they're like, it's funny you bring that up. Dogs get brought up a lot, but it's never as companions. It's always about how disgusting they are. <laughs> like, well. you know... There, there's like the the analogy of like as a dog returns to its vomit and stuff like that. Oh, that's so true though. Dogs are gross. <laughs> they are so gross. You know, they're cute, but they, dude, I got stories of like when Peanut was still alive. Mm -hmm. I'll tell one. Okay. Um, there was this day I took him in the backyard, and uh, you know, he'll every once in a while he'll he'll he won't return. It, it wasn't his vomit, okay. but it was his. His doo -doo. Yeah, which is, um, you know, arguably worse. Yeah, they're both pretty bad, but one is, like, fully, you know, like, the facts has actually been, like, printed out, you know? Whereas one is just, like, the ink, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, he's doing a little inspection. Okay. And he's... <laughs> Not he wasn't exactly you know the idea of eating that wasn't foreign to him so I was like hey peanut stop and so I kind of like shoot him away from it we started to walk away and it almost looked like he got possessed by something <laughs> he so violently whipped around and like lunged into it and like inhaled it like Kirby <laughs> and it, it just it al it almost looked like a. Uh, like, the poop met him halfway and, like, jumped in his mouth. That was, like, how violent and fast it was. It's like... And <laughs> he's, like, an like a addict or something. He's like, no, I can resist. Yes, and exactly. Like, I can't resist. It was like, yeah, it was like you put a recovering meth head in a room just, like, where the walls are just made of meth. Yeah. And he's just like, I can do this. No, I can't! Um, I really can't. <laughs> I'm weak! Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, like, typically whenever he would eat something he's not supposed to, I would wrestle it out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and that day I was just like, okay, you win that one, I'm not, I'm not gonna grab it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not um, wrestling with that one, thank you. I remember the look in his eyes. It was like, his eyes, they like, did the opposite of dilating. It was like, <laughs> like they cat. got smaller. <laughs> yeah, it, they, he, he, his eyes were like wide open, like as full wide open as they could get, and his eyes were tiny. Oh, no. And it, like like his, his pupils turned into crosshairs or something. <laughs> Sounds like drugs to me. <laughs> yeah, poop is drugs for dogs. Honestly. Like, the first dog I had, like, as a kid, I guess was also the first dog I've ever had. Um, mm -hmm. He was a lab. And he had good manners. He was a good dog. He was nice. Mm. 
and he did not partake in the um <laughs> the outdoor um food so <laughs> in the doo-doo donkey <laughs> consumption <laughs> in the dump yard <laughs> feast or whatever <laughs> <laughs> Dump yard feast. so i didn't even have that concept as a thing you know until we got mm-hmm. our second dog who was a yorkie um no brain mass absolutely the stupidest <laughs> dog you've ever met um mm-hmm. and he he did partake and it was <laughs> disgusting <laughs> and every dog since like my sister's dog also partakes and it's like what is up with these dogs <laughs> So, they really are just gross. I was blindsided by that. Mm. Offended it's, even. It's funny how like the how like pigs are and rats are seen as the gross animals, I but no one I mean just just a couple thousand years ago dogs were like right there with them. Mm-hmm. But now everyone like, you know, they like breed the specific dogs that are like all cute and I can fit it in my purse and it'll die because its nose is too small, yeah. but at least it looks cute. Exactly. Now they're like a, a designer companion as opposed to just like this less feral small wolf Yeah. that likes us for some reason. Because we give them and, food. Yeah, yeah. I guess any animals like that, you give them food, they'll think you're dope. Yeah. To some extent. I feel like a cat would still run away. Like, I, my cats, nah. they still, like, when I let them outside, they look at that uh, backyard gate, and they're like, you know what? <laughs> I mean, I could. I could if I wanted to. <laughs> if I could just find a way to break that latch, exactly. I could just run away forever. <laughs> Even though they have everything they could ever want. <laughs> yeah. That's that's not enough for them. I oh, know. They're terrible. They, they, they just, they gotta go. They want to go hang out. And just like get sh- ripped to shreds by a coyote. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they want it's that. all they ever want. <laughs> you can't provide that. <laughs> I can't. That's true. That's on me. It's Helen. It's Helen. <laughs> I forgot she existed. It's Clancy Brown. Clancy Brown. That's Helen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the voice of Mr. Crab. Mm. <laughs> she's got quite a vocal range. It's very impressive. <laughs> yeah, that really is. And she can also transform into the guy from Dexter season whatever. Season uh, prequel. No, sequel. I don't know. Who cares? Season sequel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that's the clay pot that Hercules is in where the gospel women sing? Oh, that's pretty nifty. Nice little connection mm-hmm. there. Yeah, it's not true, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close to the but same wouldn't it pot. be cool if it was? <laughs> yeah. That would make this movie did, okay. Did you know that that pot was ceramic? That's a nice Easter egg. It calls back to the pot that was probably made of clay from Hercules. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> Maybe Danny DeVito was in that pot. Danny DeVito. Why would he be in the pot? Because of Hercules, oh, he was in it. Okay. I hope that. I hope they do a live action Hercules and they cast Danny DeVito as live action Phil. That would be pretty funny. I think I would watch that. I mean, have you seen the stature of that man? <laughs> he looks like Phil. Yeah. Like size as well. He's tiny. He's a tiny little man. Mm. Like when I watch It's Always Sunny every once in a while, he's so freaking small. Mm-hmm. He's like a little meatball with legs. Danny DeVito height four ten. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's shorter than me. <laughs> exactly. And I'm really short. That's so impressive. <laughs> it's true. You are. Yeah. You. You. And so is he. You would know. <laughs> I have verifiable evidence. I get to see how. Short, you, me, and my friend are compared to Brendan Fraser every time I come in my little office. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true, yes. I can't it's believe so they put me next to Brendan Fraser, making me look the <laughs> smallest person to ever exist. So rude. It may, It's so weird to look at, because we're all adults, mm-hmm. but like every picture I'm in with another adult, I still feel like I'm a kid. I know! And- <laughs> I, that just never is going to change, and it's frustrating. I know. It's like, <laughs> when do I start looking like Brendan Fraser? I don't think I yeah. do. I just look like this forever, and then I die. 
Is this, yeah, is there just like another growth spurt no one's ever told me about where you just become the the real adult height? Yeah. It's... Or are you forever doomed to just be like the size of a large child? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it doesn't help. Brendan Fraser's very tall, but I feel like if we had taken a picture with anyone that day, we would all look like kids, even though we are proper yeah. adults. It's funny, because like... I don't know. It's just funny <laughs> it's just to think funny. about. Yeah, when I was a kid, I always thought, like, I always feel like, the, you know, there was a period of time in middle school where I got taller before everyone else, and I was, like, the tallest kid in my yeah. class for probably, like, a, like two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then everyone else started growing. And they kept growing. And they kept growing. Yep. And eventually I realized I'm... I think I'm done growing, and everyone else just keeps going. <laughs> yep. Like, whenever whenever best friend started growing, there was a period of time I was significantly taller than him. And, uh, I mean, if you look at that picture, he's a, he's a few inches taller than I am now. Yep. Um, <laughs> like, all into my adulthood, I would be in conversations with other adults, and, like... Mm -hmm. Just be like, you know, one of these days I'll be as tall as them. And then in my mid-twenties, I was just like, I just have to accept the fact this is how tall I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, like, I grew up, I'm the middle child, and mm -hmm. my older sister, whenever I would go to the doctor, they're like, oh, yeah, uh, you're going to be taller than your sister, for sure, for sure. Because I had that growth <laughs> spurt, too, in, like, middle school. I was taller than everyone. And I was mm -hmm. like, on top of the world. But then, I stopped growing. <laughs> yeah. I stopped growing when I turned, like, 12. And I've been the same height <laughs> ever since. And guess what? <laughs> My brother is over six feet tall. What's up with that? Oh, <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> and I'm not- I will say- I'm not taller than my oh, sister. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say, I'm not Dang. taller than my sister, and she's 5'3". So that's just, like, so sad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Um I will say between me and Peggy, I'm pretty sure I'm taller. Mm -hmm. Not by much, but I think I'm taller than him. Really? Um I think. I don't remember. It's very close, but I wanna say I am like one or two inches taller than he is. Um Ayo, but take then that Peggy. But then you introduce an entire other bloodline known for mm. freakishly large people. Okay. Uh, in the form of my stepbrother and half brother, mm -hmm. and yeah, they are significantly taller than me and Peggy. Yes. And then I I have the half siblings on that like my dad had a few years ago, and the only reason I'm taller than them is because they're children. <laughs> Time will tell. Yeah, it w in due time, I'm sure they'll be taller as well. <laughs> well, I say that. They also inherited my dad's genes, and my dad's genetics are those of a squatty Scotsman, mm. so they're probably plagued with the same curse I am. <laughs> time will tell. Yeah. The curse. I don't, I don't think they're going to get any height genes from their mom. <laughs> She's a short woman, too. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> they're doomed. But... I will say, I am not the shortest sibling, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Yeah, it's not good Apparently down Apparently you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the shortest person in my family. I'm pretty sure, like, Goodness. my immediate family, I am the shortest. Well, Peggy's not the shortest uh, in our family. That's mom. Mm, yeah. Mom do be pretty short. My mom's, like, normal height. My dad's normal height. And then, yeah, I'm two super short sisters and a freakishly <laughs> tall brother. <laughs> Absolutely no clue where that came from. Dang. I know. I don't know what to tell you. I, no wonder I role play as a tree on the internet, you know, I'm compensating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're like, I want to be freakishly tall mm -hmm. like everyone else. What's the tallest living creature I can think of? I know a big tree. A big tree. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could be a whale, but Brendan Fraser's got that covered. That's true. And are they tall or long? That's a good question. I, I guess if you like 
balanced it on its face <laughs> and just like stacked it upward mm -hmm. like that. There are probably still trees that are bigger, but I think if you did that, it's still like a freakishly large animal. Yeah, and I think like width wise, they're still taller than people anyway because they're he okay. Now I gotta look up blue whale. Yeah, it's like a massive school bus. Magic school bus. <laughs> That's what I- Right on the massive school bus! <laughs> oh, would you look at that? They use a school bus as comparison for size. Wow. They are 80 they to say, 100 feet long. Oh, that's that's long. I don't know what that <laughs> means. 80 feet long? Yeah, I need a comparison. It's the size of three school buses. That's big. Yeah. I mean, that's like, what, 60 rows of chairs, not including the driver's seat? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a small auditorium. Yeah, it's no good. Oh, this one used three tanks as comparison, so <laughs> if you know more about <laughs> tanks, then... Well, it's funny you say that, because when I was a child, my mom would take me and Peggy to the tank museum, is what we called it, like, every week. Okay. And... It was just, we lived on a military base, and there was just this park that had, like, out-of-commission tanks parked in, like, a circle. And, uh, so, you know, I was not even ten years old when I saw them, but tanks are massive. Yeah. They, it's almost like they're war machines or something, dare I say. Yeah, it's almost like they're supposed to strike fear into your heart. They do look pretty cool, though. Let's see how tall a redwood tree is. Okay. Just to see if trees still win. Oh no, she's jealous of the baby. Okay, 300 feet, yeah. Yeah. Redwoods still win. Trees for the win, baby! Well, I went in the opposite direction. I was like, I already feel short, let's go shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, made it a a point of pride to be one of the shortest VTubers. Mm, there's... I know that there are VTubers shorter than me, but... Yeah. I'm sure... Know, splat. Yeah, I'm sure there's, like, a microscopic VTuber, like, I'm an amoeba. Yeah. I'm... I'm just someone out there. Mm -hmm. They all... They all have, like, almost, like, the... How there's, like, a Pokemon, and then there's, like, the species, like, Pikachu's the, the mouse Pokemon. Yeah. People will be like, I'm Goobledy Flea, the <laughs> Back to the Future VTuber. And I'm sure there's someone who's, like, a Amoeba Jones, the microscopic VTuber. <laughs> Goobledy. <gasps> My favorite VTuber! The Back to the Future VTuber. What an epic reference to that movie. Oh, well. There's that stupid rat. I thought she was trying Let's... to escape because she was so mad about the baby. Let me out of this hellhole! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a beautiful house where I don't get nonstop attention. This is the worst. You get rejected. You want to go outside? Fine, I'll leave you outside forever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And I will never change out of my bathroom. Because <laughs> I am a dad to a newborn. Yeah. Yeah, dads can't wear normal clothes. Nope. Not allowed. It's in the rule book. Corella DeVille. Let me in! Oh. I mean, Helen. It's Helen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like Cruella would be infinitely more entertaining if she was Cruella DeVille. Helen, yeah. <laughs> I want some puppies! <laughs> Not from you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That show was something else. It was goofy. And it was made by a creep. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. SMH. SMH. I wonder if everyone at home can hear Grandpa flipping out in the other room. I can hear Grandpa flipping out in the other room, yeah. Well, then I'm guessing they can. Probably yeah. even better. Well. Man. <laughs> this is precisely why I set up my computer in another room. But, to be fair, he is freaking loud, so there's no escape <laughs> he sounds like unless he's really you just go issues. to another house. <laughs> yeah, just like uh, put a little shed in the backyard and that can be your streaming 
room or whatever. Then I'll get hit with a dead tree if a tornado comes. Oh, you're right. Then you should put it exactly where the lawn chairs are. Because those That's were true. Fucked. I'll put a lawn chair on the roof. <laughs> what? Because apparently they <laughs> they have like the Molnir Ooh, principle yeah. from Avengers taking place. That makes sense, yeah. Tornadoes aren't worthy, so they can't lift the lawn chairs. That is so true. That's <gasps> a good point. Hey, Boo Boo, is that a picnic basket? Did it? Hey, Boo Boo, did the picnic basket move? Move? What? Did she? What? Did she steal the baby and put it in the picnic basket? I'm going to put this baby in the in the megaphone thing. Okay. <laughs> Why she do the hand like that? <laughs> she did like the boy. Whoa. Is it a cat? It's a cat. Or maybe like a yarn version of Spider-Man. Oh, it's the Siamese cats. I forgot about oh, those. Oh, I forgot. Are they going to sing that stupid song? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Disney was nervously, like profusely sweating when they fought or remembered the Siamese twin cats. Yeah. I they were like, oh no, oh, racial stereotypes, no! And then they ripped their shirt like a like a Pharisee or something. Mm. Yeah, I do remember <laughs> the Siamese cats being a bit on the um, questionable side. <laughs> they do look like little supervillains with their massive foreheads, though. I don't they're, know. They're evil little cat eyes. They're not, are those Siamese cats, though? They don't look like they're Siamese cats. I don't know. Let me look up what a Siamese cat looks like. To be fair, they mostly just kind of look like like a CG creature. Yeah, like they're supposed to be tan with the the black face. That's a uh, different type see. of ugly cat. Yeah, that's not a Siamese. Every single Google image of a Siamese cat is exactly what you described. Yeah. And then you go to Wikipedia, literally textbook or sorry encyclopedia definition of a siamese cat is what you described <laughs> these are like naked ugly cats yeah these these are just like i don't know these look like evil skinny versions of chimichanga i can't tell if they're supposed to be naked though like they could be like a sphinx <laughs> cat which are ugly and naked they could be an asphyxiated cat <laughs> asphyxiated yeah they can't breathe <laughs> We can't bring their whole songs about how they can't breathe, so they're just trying to get people's attention by breaking stuff. Honestly, I feel like I wrote a better character than Disney did. They just hop out of the basket and can't breathe, so they're trying to get everyone's attention. Uh, One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Blink. Incredible. Mm -hmm. No, we're watching Lady and the Tramp. Oh, yeah, of course it was Lady's fault. I totally forgot the Siamese cats lady. were in this yeah, thing. Yeah, me too. But, like, I get... In this thing. I get, like, making them less racist, you know? But, like, Siamese cats is, like, a breed of cat. You didn't have to change the breed of the cat. <laughs> no, that's how Disney thinks. It's like, we can't even have people... It's al it almost feels like propaganda, cockatoo, oh. um, where they're like, not only are we going to change the character, we are going to basically make it a new character. So you don't even ask the question of like, do Siamese cats exist yeah. in real life? <laughs> I want the cockatoo to be a more prominent part of this scene. Yeah, please. He's so cute. What is that thing? Can I have the taxidermized rat? Oh, this beast? is this is actually I'm looking up what kind of cat it is in the movie, and it's actually pretty pretty smart. They're called Devon and Rex, and Devon Rex is the breed name of the cat. And I'm like, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh no, she got a what? Don't oh, careful with the birds. <laughs> Man, I don't like this. No! I don't like this scene because birds are so freaking awesome. Well, there they go. 
All those birds, they're pet birds, so they're not going to know how to behave in the wild, and they're going to die. They may not even know how to fly, all of them. Well, well some of them flew. The ones that flew away probably know how to fly. Uh, maybe they but forgot. If they, if they got their wings clipped or something, they just went... <laughs> And <laughs> landed back on the ground. <laughs> oh, was that them just like boom? Dead. Yeah, that's them just like no. <laughs> so they don't like Hulk jump into the air. They just kind of hop yeah. and hope their wings take them away. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I well, like I talked about it before. Flibbity, I used to clip her wings, and she'd just do a little hop and then land back on the ground, just be like, "What just happened?" <laughs> yeah, and then she'd try again, and eventually, I just. Grab her and put her back in her cage. Get away Hello. from my swamp! <laughs> you look like Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, crossover. <laughs> crossover. Hello, I'm Dog Bane. <laughs> and is this Batman then? <laughs> the fire rises. What are you doing in my alley? <laughs> <laughs> that would be unlistenable. <laughs> Who's that then? Seth Rogen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the voice was Seth Rogen, so, you know. <laughs> it's Pumbaa, but the crappy one. We so worried. The one who goes, when I was a young warthog. And that was the first take and they used it. Yeah, they said, you want to try again? And he went, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> like uh with with Toby. <laughs> like, would you like to try that again? Yeah. No. <laughs> you caught the reference. Bam 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 bam. That's so good. <laughs> it's only because I just rewatched that episode. I rewatched it like a couple winks on go. Oh god. Oh, Tramp's voice is Justin Tr Trudeau, the Canadian Justin Prime Trudeau. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you want to take a break from whatever you're doing up there to uh, <laughs> to come voice a dog? <laughs> yes, the name absolutely. Is pretty close. So the Canadian <laughs> President Prime Minister or whatever is Trump. Okay, and it's now canon, and you can't tell me otherwise. That dog is Colin Farrell. Okay. Bye, Colin he Farrell. Goes, hey, what are you showing me? Oh, uh, come on. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, he's ah, uh, that character's so good. I honestly didn't enjoy that movie very much, but Colin Farrell as the penguin was my favorite part of it. Yeah, it was good. Her face was glitched. Yeah, I can't wait to see more of him. I heard they're making like a show about him. And I feel sorry for that man because he gets paid to just be transformed into a new human every day. I know, that's so annoying. They just sit in makeup <laughs> for like four hours every day. Yeah, like, I, <laughs> you've like layered new layers of artificial skin on top of me <laughs> and put me in a fat suit. Honestly, you know, Brendan Fraser's great and everything, but uh, maybe Colin Farrell should have won that award for craziest makeup oh i was gonna say best fat suit makeup yeah mm -hmm. f best fat character goes to <laughs> <laughs> the whale, the whale. <laughs> what is he doing what are you doing i'm trying to kiss it <laughs> i'm kissing the beaver statue for good luck <laughs> I thought it was a capybara, so I tried to give it a little kiss. He's gonna, he's gonna kill her. It Three, sounds like two, Seth Rogen, one. doesn't it? <laughs> uh, a little. His voice is more distinct, though. Oh, like I don't even. Gee! <gasps> it's like a Hallmark movie, but with dogs. It's so gross. <laughs> and it's not Christmas. <laughs> it's so. And it's weird. gross. <laughs> Yeah, help me get out of this bizarre head contraption. Tale as old as time. Tale as old as time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> da -da 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 Thank you for... Movie over. Bam! She says, I'm Lady. And he goes, and the tramp? <laughs> <laughs>
and then the credits roll. <laughs> I am lost, thank you. And then she leaves. I am, and then the credits roll again. <laughs> I have no clue where I'm going. All right, well, good luck. And then the credits roll. <laughs> they just keep doing that over and over again. You just got, like, straight up stepped on by that guy and didn't even care. Because she's a lady. A lady is trained at birth to be so dainty that if a man <laughs> steps on your foot, you don't even notice. Because you are so paper thin. Yes. You can you you have the Mario curse where you go and you go between the bars. Ah yes, yes yes yes. Epic reference, I know. Epic reference to yesterday. Well, mm -hmm. this movie is like on the fritz. Yeah, the very legitimate copy of this movie that was uploaded to definitely Disney Plus mm -hmm. isn't exactly on the up and up. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's definitely got a disease. Or it's got the um, food, boy food boy curse. curse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Dang. And you know what? They do be eating food in this movie. That's like the scene everyone remembers. Oh no, we're doomed. We're d and then and then they're gonna get the photo realistic blood out of their eyes, <laughs> and they're and we're gonna get haunted. <laughs> Photorealistic blood. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a creepy pasta. Oh right, yes. I think it's photo. Re they get photorealistic eyes, but I think it's funnier to say photorealistic blood. <laughs> <laughs> photo. Oh, that specifically the blood coming out of their eyes looks so real. <laughs> but only that. <gasps> It's the Paper Mario boat. Very patriotic. I thought those were corn cobs in the background. <laughs> really big corn cobs. With no Yeah, corn. this... <laughs> Someone ate it all. Mm. The tramp is like, this is where I live, and boy do I love corn. <laughs> you can tell because of the empty corn cobs. The amount of fiber I get per day? Ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta do-do so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wow, you're really selling yourself. I feel so romantically <laughs> involved with you. But I helped you out of the face masks, so maybe you can look past my massive GI issues. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh! It's Mr. Krabs! I didn't even recognize him! <laughs> Sponge boy me, Bob! Why is he so scary looking? Well, he always looks scary. Well, he looks scarier yeah. than when he played a scary guy in Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like God crafted him out of clay to play a villain in live action roles. And to be a crab. Yeah, and to be the voice of Mr. Krabs. <laughs> he looks like Mr. Krabs, unfortunately. Who, to be fair, mm -hmm. can be antagonistic. That's true. It depends on the writers. That is true. I personally like it better when he's more of like a mentor figure with a massive flaw, but yeah. with the heart of gold. Yeah. I don't like it when he's the villain that much. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to that, because Plankton is the obvious villain, like the cartoonish villain. Mm. I do, I like the, it's almost like the moral that, like, the world is a little more gray than straight up black and white, but, you know, we're like, you know, obviously Plankton is the villain, but Mr. Krabs isn't exactly the hero. You yeah, know? no, because he likes money. Yeah. He it, he has a, a comically over-the-top flaw as a character, which I think is good to have. You don't want to have just, like, his whole role is he's the boss. Yeah. You know? But, I don't know. I've seen a lot of episodes where... Uh, some of the ones that stress me out the most are the ones where he's just, like, too much of a villain. Yeah. I'm like, but he's so cool, because he's like a crab. And his name is Mr. Yeah, that's his first name. What do you want to name the baby boy? Mr. Mr. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> last name? Crab. What do you think it's going to be my last name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have the doctor asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every... 
There's, there hasn't been a person in American history when the doctor inevitably asks them, what do you want your baby's last name to be, <laughs> who didn't just say, I don't care. Yeah. Just make it mine. I think the only person <laughs> that was was Benedict Cumberbatch. Mm. Mm-hmm. What was his last name going to be? I don't know. His parents' last names are not Cumberbatch, though. It's Swindleton, and they said, our name sounds like we're con artists, so... We'll give him a name befitting of a an esteemed actor, actor, Cumberbatch. Yeah, so his mom is Wanda Ventham, and his dad mm-hmm. is Timothy Carlton. Oh. I think they're both famous actors, so they kept their name, and then when they had Cumberbatch, they're like, you know what? Let's just go buck wild with his name. They said, let's make our son's name sound like the binomial nomenclature of like a pickle plant. A pickle plant? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then famous actor mom said, Yes, my husband, I agree. Very good. I will say, though, his face is like a perfect combination of both of his parents. It's very strange. It's crazy how genetics work i know but usually it's not so like 50 <laughs> 50 i got you <laughs> i've never seen either of these parents so i don't know well they're british you would know. i don't know nothing i don't know nothing about british i never even seen a british <laughs> what did you just did you fall out of your chair no, i'm trying to open the door so my cats can get it <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Up, oh, is it cheese time? I don't know, it might be. He's out. Question mark? Oh, okay. Cheese! Let's see if he <laughs> Cheese! Wherefore art thou? I just know if Jeez. he does want to come in and the door's closed, he's going to start freaking out. He'll go. He'll go. <laughs> yeah, he will go. <laughs> <laughs> he'll start making muffins on the door. Yeah. Make muffins on the door. No, he'll stick his his little hands under the door and act like that's doing mm. anything. And he'll <laughs> and start clawing at the floor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that's beans. She's like ripped up the carpet in one of the rooms because she's beans. So crazy. Chaloop. Oh, sorry, Jimmy Chonda did that in my parents' room. You have to like be really careful. Because most of my house has hardwood floor, except for that room. And where it transitions under their bedroom door, if you step, like, right on that transition, there's just, like, this big spike. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> well, fun fact, that's because how the way you hold carpet down is a bunch of nails that point upwards. Mm. They're supposed to be like pointed towards the wall, but like on a transition piece, it has no wall. So if the carpet mm. wears down and like the carpet pad wears down, you just got a bunch of nails <laughs> sticking up. Yeah, well, that makes sense. So you might want to get what it feels a like. shot. So. <laughs> I'm fine. My foot hasn't turned to rust. Okay, yeah, because that's the big concern. Yeah, you, like, get infected with, like, a metal virus and your foot turns to metal and rusts away. (laughs) You just slowly become metal. That would be kind of cool and horrifying. Probably more. Probably more the second one. Yeah, probably more the second (laughs) one, but if it was slow, maybe you could stop it with, like, some rust-oleum or something, you know? Or a tetanus shot. Or a tetanus shot, yeah, that would work, too. That would be cool to, like, wake up one morning and see, like, like your your foot is a robot foot and then it like transitions to skin mm. and like you're just staring at it for 30 minutes and you see that line go like slightly up the leg <laughs> like a loading bar like um I forgot. I mean... He says, Mamma mia, what is a spaghetti for the meatball friend of mine? Is this Mario and Luigi? He says, Mario... I'm Mario. <laughs> I forgot which one I play. <laughs> you know, I know Chris Pratt gets crap for doing the Chris Pratt voice for Mario. Yeah. I'm not saying this is like a let's give Charlie Day crap, but I think it's funny 
he does his normal voice, yeah. but he sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. So it works with Luigi better than with Mario, it seems. It's like uh, John Mulaney. Like, every character he plays is just his voice, but his voice is so weird. Or like, um... Patrick Warburton, question mark? Mm. Kronk? Kronk. Yeah, from Ember's New Groove. I can't remember if it's him or John Hamm. It's not John Hamm. It's John. It's Patrick Warburton. John! He's also the Wellington. guy and family guy in the wheelchair. Um, and some other stuff that I just don't remember right now. And every <laughs> single thing he does, he does that voice, but because it's like a funny meme voice, you know? Yeah. I'm trying. Where is it? He gets away with it. Yeah, Patrick They're Warburton. They're doing spaghetti. I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the. In the tick, right? Or is it the flea? Yeah. <laughs> the tick. The tick. And yeah. the flea. He, in, the li in the live action tick show, he's the tick. Yes, yes, yes. He goes, hey, Peter, I'm the tick. I get him and John Hamm confused all the time, which kind of doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't have that problem because I don't know who John Hamm is. Let me look him up. I don't think quick. I know anymore either. <laughs> John Hamm. John Ham. Um, oh, the Madman guy. Yeah, uh, I think I know who this is. He looks familiar. I might have seen him in a thing. Let's look at his filmography real quick. Let's look at his. Okay, he was in Parks and Recreation. Um, he was in. Yeah, like, all these movies I have, like, never seen before. And I'm like, how do I even know this guy? <laughs> what else was he in? He was in Shrek Forever After, okay. but I never saw that. So that's not why I know him. He was in Minions. He was Purple Guy in Minions. Purple Guy. Purple Guy? Um, oh, we for, um, we missed the certified spaghetti moment. Oh well. Oh, I saw oh, it. I okay. just didn't care that much. So oh, I didn't okay. say anything. That's good. <laughs> he was in Gilmore Girls. Okay. I watched that with my mother. Okay. So I know a little bit about that. Um, Wasn't he in Baby Driver? Like, I think that's the only thing I've ever seen him in. How was he in Ubu Driver? He was in Ubu Driver. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know when that came out. Let me see. Let me see. Let me look for the words baby. Yep. In 2017, he was Jason Buddy Van Horn in Baby Driver. Yeah. Um, but what else was he in that I'd recognize? He's like a man's man. He plays <laughs> men. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a man's man, that John Ham. <laughs> oh, I know this guy. I'm like so confused now. <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing some names in like TV shows that I recognize. Oh, he was in Modoc. As Modoc? No, he was Iron Man in Modoc. Uh, Modoc was Ratatouille. No, you no. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah, it was uh, Remy was his or name? Alfredo. Patton Oswalt. Uh, the rat, mm. Pat Oswalt. Oh yeah, the little 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 dumpy nerdy guy. This has <laughs> been insightful. Like I am, my life is forever changed. Why? Because I thought I had seen stuff with John Hamm in it, and it turns out it was just Pacha. No, Kronk this whole time, not Pacha. <laughs> <laughs> Pacha. That's John Goodman. Yeah. That's a that's a whole other no, filmography. I, I know him. <laughs> that's <laughs> Sully. It yeah, exactly. And um he's the guy with the sunglasses and the big Lebowski. Yep. He's Roseanne's husband in the hit TV sitcom Roseanne. Mm -hmm. He is uh I know he's in Oh Brother Where Art Thou. Um, they tried and epically failed to do a live-action Year Without a Santa Claus movie, and he was Santa. 
Um, but I'm sure he wouldn't want to remember that because that movie sucks. Yeah. Maybe movie grits. Anyway, uh, what <laughs> else was he in? Let me look it up. Oh, he was in that weird commercial for like the casino mobile game where he's a thumb. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, not getting any recognition on that. <laughs> Viewer, let me know if you saw the John Goodman thumb commercials. Because so I sure Goodman. remember them. Yeah, John and Saul are brothers. Whoa. I need a spin off. John Goodman. Uh, he's so old now and he's not chubby anymore. Well, maybe. He was, it was really cool when he was chubby. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Saul or John? Oh, John Goodman. Mm -hmm. Now he looks like a. An aging old man, because he is, to be fair, but... Mm. No! There he is! Oh yeah, he was live-action Fred Flintstone. Yes! I forgot about that. That's crazy. <laughs> it is. It's weird. Who was, uh... Uh, who was Barney in that? Let me see. Flintstone. That Rick Moranis was Barney. <laughs> this is Halle Berry was in that movie. Cat Broad. To... Yeah, Cat Broad was in the live action Flintstones. That's so weird that they made that. Yep. Anyway. Oh, the movie. Two, broke. three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Nine. You ever look out at the starry sky and just think, why am I even here? Think John Goodman? No. <laughs> you ever think, what hit roles has John Goodman been in recently? <laughs> All the time, tramp. Wow, you are a real lady, aren't you? We're meant to be. We both are J John Goodman. Fans. Oh, I thought a firework went off. Or like it's Paul Blart. Someone was shooting at him. <laughs> That's the sound of a gun. That's a good sound. Yeah. <laughs> you should be a voice actor. Okay. Give me a roll. I'll do it. Um. John Goodman. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Goodman. Whoa. I was the voice of Sully, and I'm freaking old. <laughs> that was really good. Oscar worthy, I'd say. Was it? I fe well, jokes aside, there was a little bit in there that I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, who else should I do the voice of? Um, or do an impression of? Kronk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's showtime. <laughs> he doesn't do Mr. Incredible. It's showtime. Hey, Yzma, what do you think of my spinach puffs? Spinach puffs. Kronk, I hate your spinach puffs. Oh. I'm gonna kill you. Your old British person always sounds like Professor McGonagall. From Is that Harry a Harry Potter, Potter yeah. character? Okay. My old British person. Hello! It's me, a Harry Potter reference! Or old British woman, rather. I was trying to be Yzma. Crunk! <laughs> Pull the lever! <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> Lucille, but... Yzma. <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> How much could it cost? Ten dollars? <laughs> <laughs> she would be a great Yzma. Well, I have some bad news for oh, you. Oh, I know. Yeah, there ain't gonna be a season six. <laughs> well, I think that's good for everyone, but... I thought you were about to say, well, I think that's good. <laughs> good, finally. Good for her. Good for her. That's an Arrested Development quote. I didn't want her to die. Well, anyway, can't prove that. Yeah, I can't prove I didn't want her to die. Nope. I'm calling <laughs> the police. 
<laughs> You're under arrest for... I don't know. What what crime would that be exactly? <laughs> um, rudeness. They just go, road, and they put handcuffs on you. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> what are you in for? I killed a man. I don't even need to ask why you're here. I can smell the rude just emanating <laughs> off you. He's <laughs> just so darn mean. Did your mom teach you any manners, boy? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you should go to jail for root. Those bars look like they're made of vanilla beans. Oh, okay. Oh, no. She's allergic to vanilla, so she can't gnaw her way out. Yeah, that'll be a death sentence. Death by vanilla. Although, eating something they shouldn't doesn't ever really stop a dog. Dang, they're gonna, like, drag her to the town square in Rogueport. Yeah, like, what is going on? <laughs> Dogs, I hope you're itching for a public execution. That dog is evil. That was the, that was, yo quiero taco bear. <laughs> What's happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> My time in the spotlight is over. I'm a new dog now. Scary. I'm gonna put like you in here with that dog. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. I hope you enjoy not living in two minutes. <laughs> That's like the equivalent of, like, walking through a prison and someone just goes, ah! at you. Yeah. <laughs> I was yawning. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Yawn. Been there, done that. <laughs> this is the dog that goes, he's a tramp. There's a dog that does that? Yeah, she sings the song about how the tramp is a tramp. Mm, I don't and remember And he that. goes, he goes, he goes, boots and cats and boots and cats. <laughs> I don't remember that. It's the Rosalina dog. Oh. Or Karen. It looks more like a Karen hairdo like than Karen, Rosalina. Yeah. Skrillex. Skrillex, the dog. Goes, bangarang. <laughs> No wonder it's in the pound. <laughs> this dog's too annoying. Take it to the pound. Get rid of it. It won't shut I up. know. Yeah. This is my dog, but I don't want her anymore. <laughs> Man, what was your favorite Skrillex song? Um, I don't know. Did they all just kind of sound like an industrial accident happening for three to five minutes to you? Yeah, I guess, <laughs> like, Bangarang was okay, but, like, Dubstep, I never was really into Dubstep, you know? Mm. There was a period of time where Peggy liked it, so I liked it. Mm. I can actually, I'm not a music guy, as I'm sure you know, but if someone... Like, put a gun to my head and was like, tell me your favorite Skrillex song. I'd go, first of the year! And they'd go, all right, you live to see another day. And they'd walk off. <laughs> oh, no, mine would probably be, like, the nice sprites and scary things or whatever it is. Hmm, I heard the I know, I re recognize the name. I don't remember the song, and I don't expect you to try and <laughs> I mean, imitate it. It's nice sprites. It's the one that goes, yes, oh my god, and then the, the, the beat drops. Oh, okay, that sounds like probably 75% of Skrillex <laughs> music, so that doesn't help. <laughs> well, I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you ever listen to Daft Punk? Uh, not on purpose. <laughs> <gasps> I'm appalled, and I don't say that. That sarcastically, because I loved Daft Punk as a kid. I still listen to Daft Punk every once in a while, and I'm sad that they stopped making music. I mean, I'll listen to Daft Punk, but it's kind of repetitive to me. But it's robots, mm. and that's cool. Around the world, around, around the, world. the world. And then it keeps around going for 10 the world. minutes. Yeah, it goes... 
And you're like, yeah! yeah! Party people! This is my jam! I love around the world! I love the part when he says around the world, around the world. <laughs> it's pretty Best good. part. <laughs> I can't stop yawning. What's happening? It's that lawn mowing. I guess you're tired. Yeah, all of your energy was depleted when you mowed the lawn. Yeah, the lawn is pretty large, and I did have to move the trampoline about. Um, the trampoline that the previous owners left in the backyard. They were like, let's leave them a little present. Yeah, exactly. These, these grown adults seem like the trampoline type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we kept it because it's fun to bounce on every now and then. Just don't tell our mm. insurance that we have a trampoline because then our rates go up. <laughs> well, hey, it's on record, but it's also on record on an obscure podcast. Yeah. So I don't, I think you're... I under think an you're, alias. <laughs> yeah, under an alias. <laughs> they aren't like, wait, this, I, I know this voice anywhere. <laughs> Not only do you get doxxed by your insurance, yeah. but they stop giving you insurance. They increase our rates to astronomical levels. It's LeFou. He's adopted the dog. It's Lady. Lefou, I'm afraid I want a dog. She's a lady. Whoa! She's gonna run away again because she hates her parents. Thank you for finding our dog. We're going to let her go in the river. We're going to let her be free. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. We're going to just let her run across the street from the pound. Don't catch her. Okay. Dude, those old timey cars are so funny looking. Yeah, they're pretty goofy. Everyone perpetually looks like they're on the set of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah. It's like, why are they so <laughs> tall? And they, I feel like I would feel like Wonder Woman in her invisible jet. <laughs> but like, I'm perfectly visible, you know? It's just, mm -hmm. they're so exposed. Yeah. They all look like, they go like, <laughs> and make like a funny sound like that yeah. when they go. And they rattle back and forth. Mm -hmm. there's, there's like a horse on the inside of it. Mm-hmm. It's it on it just works like a Flintstones car, but it makes funny noises. Exactly, and it's really tall. You have to stand on your tippy toes to to pilot it because it's so tall off the ground. But it's a Flintstones car, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm off to go run a theater. Why did they didn't address how she fixed everything after her evil cats broke everything? That's true. My evil cats I keep in a picnic basket broke your vase. What was that? Oh, okay, please leave. B B Turn B into Yogi. Picnic basket. Picnic. Hey, boo boo. Get those cats off the off the poo poo. Off the poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Look, dog, it's a tiny baby. Look, dog, it's a snack for you. <laughs> baby. She goes, <laughs> No, and then her jaw unhinges. Oh, um, nom, 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 nom. called it! <laughs> I love to be eaten alive. It tickles. Tickling my tootsies. <laughs> my brain tickles. Anyway. This is a montage of her being rich <laughs> and gross and privileged. I love being rich. I don't like being rich. I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> that baby stroller <laughs> looks awful. The bounciness, I'd be so sick. That's a rich person stroller. Mm. It helps them destroy their spine. Ah, yes. At an early age. It gives you motion sickness that you can never outgrow. Heck yeah. Yeah, boy. Is it, he looks like a raisin. A raisin. <laughs> Ew! A big raisin character with a like a Bowser collar. I hate living. <laughs> oh, I'm so depressed now that I have the good life. <laughs> What's the point? What's the purpose of it all? They didn't. I let don't me know. I guess baby. just. Well, I guess you could go find another baby to eat. Mm, that's true. Maybe the tramps got the hookup. For, for 
for edible babies. <laughs> I mean, technically all babies are edible, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to think about that, because I'm not a monster. <laughs> mm, well, must be nice. You're gonna be the Joker! Oh crap, I'm gonna be the Joker. I'm gonna be a Sigma male. A Sigma male. Is that what the Joker is? I thought it was just the people that want to be the Joker or the Sigma male. Well, that's the thing. He's like the pinnacle Sigma male other than like Patrick Bateman and Homelander and Walter White for some reason. Oh, just because they're like really angry and they don't get what they want kind of thing. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. So, Gus? <laughs> I mean, I feel like Patrick Bateman has, like, everything he could want. He's just a psycho. <laughs> yeah. I think... An American one. Gus falls into that category, then. He's got Sigma yeah. male vibes. He he marches to the beat of his own drum. He really do. Like a Sigma male. Who else? Huel? Huel? <laughs> Huel is a Sigma male. Don't at me. Hot take. Mm. They'll One day I'll see a post that's like, what's a Sigma male hot take that's got you like this and it's Flynn Rider with all the swords pointed at him and I'll say Huel is a Sigma male. <laughs> I don't think anyone would fight you on that because it's just so They go, like, no! He's an alpha! But and like, be like yeah, you're right. what's the difference between an alpha and a Sigma? I think an alpha is, I guess to put it in like high school hierarchy terms, mm -hmm. an alpha is like the football jock with the letterman jacket, and a sigma is someone who doesn't care. Okay. It doesn't matter what his placement is, because he just kind of does what he wants. Gotcha. And that's why there's that glorification of like the morally gray, if not outright morally black characters, because they do what they want. And that's cool, I, I guess. gotcha. Yeah, no boundaries, mm. no society. Yeah, we can't be living in a society. No. The Joker said so. The Joker said so. He goes, we live in a society. <laughs> <laughs> so much spit going on with the Joker. I don't know what's up with him. He always is like licking his lips and crap. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> That's what he does. Give that man goes, an Oscar. He's you want to see a magic trick, and then he like blows a spit bubble. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> and and all the all the gangsters get stuck in it and fly away into the sky. <laughs> hmm. Man, I should have been Christopher Nolan. Yeah, I think you would have had something there with that one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I do different is instead of impaling a man with a pencil. The Joker has the superpower to make massive spit bubbles. Did I just see a dog with a chicken in it? In it, I need to get my lasso. I need to get me mum and me nan. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's fun to say that as a British mm. voice. Because they're really good I thought at that was dogs. A, yeah. Me nan is <laughs> a, a great dog catching in it. <laughs> Oh, he's I brought offering you a bone. <laughs> I brought you a chicken bone with no meat on yes. it. I hope you enjoy. I guess the dog could eat the bone itself, but why? Do you know how to crack open a bone and suck out the marrow? <laughs> no? Oh, well. I guess I'll keep it then. <laughs> Never <laughs> then mind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you can lick the grizzle that's in your bowl now. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so how you been? <laughs> yeah. Good. I like how okay. they went on a spiritual journey together and then she got picked up by her family and totally forgot he existed. Yeah. Well, she can't, like, communicate to the humans that I fell in love with the homeless dog. Could we please go, I don't know. Find, find him? him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She could leave could you... again. That's true, but she likes her owners. She's she's between a rock and a hard place, as they say. She's 
Um, dirt. A lady. She's a lady. <laughs> She's dirt. Yeah. What's between a oh. rock and another rock? Dirt. Oh. Okay. Well, I said a rock in a hard place. To be fair. Maybe it's like maybe mm. someone dropped a rock just like I don't know in a parking lot. And there's a and and it squished a worm. Oh, not the worm. Not the worm. Not the My worm. favorite character in <laughs> real life. In this movie, yeah. Yeah, in this movie, I'm sure there's a worm in that grass somewhere. I'm sure if it rained, it would go, what's all the commotion? And then it would come out of the dirt and it would dry up and die. Because that's what <laughs> worms just love to do. That's what they do. I know. It rains and they're like, what's all the hubbub? Oh! <laughs> it's like, how do they, why? Like, why does the rain make just... them come out? It's so stupid. <laughs> If it's like a defense mechanism against all the sound on the top layer, you'd think, if anything, you'd go down further. Yeah, okay. Now I got <laughs> Why do worms come out in the rain? It's like if you saw a fire on the, like, ground level of your house, so you ran to the second story to get away from it. It's like what worms do. Mmm... Yeah, so it is the vibrations. It causes them to come out because they don't My, like it. And it's, they go, yeah, what they're actually doing in their little worm language is going, shut off that racket! <laughs> oh, the sun! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Oh, this one makes more sense. It says the water, like, puts too much water in the dirt, obviously, so they come to the surface mm. so they can breathe. Oh, uh, that makes more sense. I know there are, like, the people who... Is that a worm? <laughs> uh, I know there are people who... They'll, like, put a stake in the ground and, like, rub it with a stick. And it makes, like, a vibration in the ground. And they're all just, like, out of the dirt. And then they just pluck them and put them in a bowl. And then they sell it at, like, the pet store. Or, like, for fish bait and, and stuff. And then they have a little snack. Yeah, they go... Mm. Yeah, they don't even pick them out. They just go across the dirt and like... Yeah. <laughs> Put their face up to the dirt and slurp them up like spaghetti noodles. So gross. Why did I say that? Who needs a job when you can just slurp worms? <laughs> who needs a job when you can live in the forest? Yeah, who needs to like buy food when you got infinite worms in the dirt? Unless you eat them all. Mm. Then you will die because you have subsided on a diet of worms and they're gone. I mean, that's why you have to, you know, go with the flow and not take mm. more than you need. Yeah. Or watch Dune because mm -hmm. there are large worms in uh, that. Yes, but you can't slurp those out of the dirt. They're a bit too big. You can, you can take a bite out of them, though. Ooh, alternate thing. You know, tremors with the evil worms. What if they just ate mm. them? Yeah, so like you could watch Dune and eat the worms in Dune, and then you could watch Tremors and eat the worms in Tremors, and then you could watch the SpongeBob episode with the Alaskan bullworm, mm. and you could eat the Alaskan bullworm. Uh, I think the new Pokemon game has a large earthworm Pokemon. You can eat that. Oh, there's um, like large earthworms in The Hobbit, I think. Hmm, interesting. I think. Maybe you can eat eat the spider legs and just imagine they're worms. Spider legs. <laughs> Poor spiders. You could play Earthworm Jim and eat the main character. Oof. That's a tough one, though. Yeah, he will scream like a human while you do it, mm. and that's horrifying that's to think about. <laughs> <laughs> scream like a human. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's no good. But hey, somebody's got to do it. That's true. Someone <laughs> has to eat him. Yeah. <laughs> this is the cross I bear. I have to eat fictional worm characters. And real worms. <laughs> and yeah, I have to rid the world of all worms. Worms are And bad. fill my tummy. They, they poop in the dirt and make more dirt. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I can't believe that dirt is just worm poop. 
Did you know mm. that before worms existed, the world was just like a small parking lot sphere? And then all the worms started pooping, <laughs> and now there's dirt. Now the earth is massive. Yeah, they were like adding mass to it like a katamari by just pooping. Everywhere. <laughs> and then the water just kind of happened. Yeah, the water was from space, obviously. Yeah, the water fell from space in like a very convenient earth-shaped formation. Uh... And that's how the world was created. <laughs> yep. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. But the world has been created now, so we don't need worms anymore. Exactly. We have enough dirt. Exactly. So what's going on in this movie? <laughs> um, I, there's a rat in the house, and Lady was trying to save the baby from the rat, and then got put uh -oh. in the closet, so Tramp is trying to save the baby from the rat. Cause... The rat's trying to hop on the baby's head so that it can go cook Whoa, a meal. Oh, because this rat hungers for human flesh, apparently. I hunger for human flesh. What is up with this I... rat? Yeah, what's the... I don't even remember a rabid rat in the original movie. Well, because I... As far as I know, the movie ends when they do the spaghetti moment. I don't think that's true, well, but as maybe. as far as I know. <laughs> oh, crap. He just ate the puppet from Goosebumps. No. Well, that's good. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing. No more sequels to Slappy the Puppet. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me. It's done. <laughs> Gesundheit. Say no more. Where are you, Rabid Rat? My favorite Disney character. Like. Rabid the Rat. Rats are pretty evil, and I mean, I could see, oh, the baby's dead. I could see a rat, or like multiple rats, eating a human baby, but like... Rats do be biting people. Mm-hmm. I hate rats, to be fair. Or to, to, to preface. Yeah. I'm sure I've said it before on this podcast. Rats are gross. But I don't think a one singular rat yeah. is going to... Do anything. Just, yeah. I mean, they might nibble on the end of your finger and you'll go, yowza, and then you'll swat it away across the room. Obviously, a baby can't do that, but... Oh. Wait. All right, good. Did he kill the baby? <laughs> Stop crying! <laughs> Can you imagine? Get away from my baby! into your baby's room and there's a dog in there? <laughs> what are you doing, you nasty-looking dog? You've tipped over my baby. And of course, Lady's gonna come up and do like a little Pocahontas move, mm -hmm. for, and say she'll learn how to talk. Yeah, be like father, and no. go no. <laughs> He's my boyfriend, and he killed the rabid rat who has been harassing the neighborhood for weeks. <laughs> and they'll go, you are the hero. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! He did it. Dun 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 dun. dun. Da na 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 da na 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 a woo -hoo. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> Tramp went up the stairs and killed the rat. Yeah, he did it. He did it. I tell you what, I'm gonna go home, fry this boy up <laughs> real good. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm eating good tonight. And he's like, what, what? <laughs> no more worms. Today I eat a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the worm boy. No. What if there was Shark Boy, Lava Girl, and Worm Boy? Mm. And his power was that he puts a stake in the ground and rubs it with a stick and the worms come out and he slurps them. I would be very concerned about the kid who thought up that character. <laughs> Cause that's yeah, Racer strange. Max has some holes in his brain. <laughs> Okay, son, I'm ready to direct your weird movie about Taylor Lautner, the shark, and a pink fire girl. Don't forget Worm Boy. I'm sorry? He eats worms. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that one, son. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Oh, she's going to reveal that there's a rat, and they're like, oh, the other dog was protecting us from this nasty rat. I think 
in the real world, if your dog did that, you'd go, oh, there's a rat and they're letting me know. Thank yeah, you, dog. That's... And that would be the end of it. They wouldn't go, where? But who killed the rat? Yeah. Oh, the dog's telling us something. Maybe it was the homeless dog who crawled in through our window. Yeah. Though, to be fair, that happening is also very strange. Yeah, like, how did the dog get up there? I would be so spooked. Yeah, I'd be like, there, this, this is a paranormal event. We have a ghost homeless dog in our house. <laughs> Lady! Yeah, I would think it was a ghost dog, honestly. Yeah, I'd be like, wow, you're a really impressive dog pound employee, because you can, like, saddle up that ghost dog. <laughs> That's why he's going to eat him. Yeah. I'm going to eat the ghost dog and absorb his paranormal powers. <laughs> so and I, I will can haunt turn the neighborhood. into a dog. I will come back and eat the rat too, and then I will be an evil dog-rat-human <laughs> hybrid ghost. <That> sounds awful. <laughs> when, you, when you eat a creature, you gain its powers and memories. <laughs> That's the that's the consistent world building lore of Lady and the Tramp. That's pretty in depth. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe I, you know, it would be funny, and like by funny I mean really strange to do, but like entertaining. What? If like someone took the story of Lady and the Tramp and like retold it in a way that's like you know. Maybe it's called, like, Mrs. and the Homeless Dog or something. Okay. And they they took the story of, like, you know, pampered dog, gets a little taste of the streets, <laughs> uh, but whoa, it's written in a way where the rule of if you consume a being, <laughs> you gain its powers and memories <laughs> is, like, an applicable thing in the universe. <laughs> I'd watch that. That's pretty cool. That would be maybe that's maybe I'll write a book about it and then it'll get made into a movie and I'll I'll sell the rights like that because I don't I'm not that passionate about that universe. Yeah. I just think it would be funny to write. <laughs> <laughs> like with the characters I make, I'm going to I'm going to hold on to them. Yeah. But Mrs. and the Homeless Dog. Mrs. and the Homeless <laughs> Dog. No, I, I want some director to just, like, have a field day with yeah. that idea. <laughs> don't don't let me hold you back. Dude, how is he smelling like the Flash? I was saying he's having, like, a That's So Raven oh, brain blast. Oh, he's having a vision, <laughs> a brain blast. He smells the street, the nasty, rotten street, and goes, brain blast! <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, the texture of the street kind of looks like a brain. A little bit. It's all like lumpy. Cobbledy. Yeah, it's all cobble cobbledy together like a brain. Mm-hmm. She look. He's on the brain wave. <laughs> this guy, the driver, would be like, oh boy, it's a field day, we're having a feast. <laughs> <laughs> he looks in the prehistoric back mirror and just goes <laughs> starts Let licking his come. lips. <laughs> Let them come. <laughs> oh, and it's being pulled by two horses? Ugh, it's not looking good for those horses either. He's He's got to keep those around so that he can transport himself to dog locations faster. Yeah. That's the only thing keeping them alive. But to be fair, one horse could probably pull that whole thing, so. That's true. That's why he has two, just in case there's a day he exactly. can't catch a dog. <laughs> he's like, well, I'm sorry. Mr. Ed, but your time has come. He's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Looks into the sky. Wow. It's like Thanksgiving out here. <laughs> Whoa. <Ow! laughs> Whoa, how did that happen? I feel bad for the... I, I always feel bad for the Disney characters who who just like... They're antagonistic, but they aren't villains. They're literally just doing their job. Yeah, he's just a dog pound employee. Mm -hmm. He can't, you know, it's not like he's not in a moral quandary. He's just like, this nasty dog is in someone's second story harassing their baby. Yeah. I should probably put a stop to that. 
No, oh, the no, tramp died. Oh no, he got mufasa He should have eaten the rat. Oh wait, he did! That's what's gonna save him. The rat? Yeah, he has the powers mm. and memories of the rat, so it'll, it's kind of like a one-up mushroom. I thought you were remembering that the tramp does in fact die. <laughs> You're like, oh, he did. And then she did. says, well, I guess I'll rebound with the rat. <laughs> Which isn't actually dead. Of course not. He's just sleeping in a pile of blood. <laughs> and no one cares about the poor dog pound employee who's died alone in the streets. <laughs> exactly. He's just like... Poor Pilgrim. dog. <laughs> yeah, poor homeless dog. I don't know. Maybe that man had a family he, he needed to go home to. Yeah, and feed. And you killed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and give a, a nice, fresh, fried dog carcass to his lovely family. Now, as a human, if you saw your dog nestling up to this dead, nasty street dog, what would you think? I would think my dog has some sort of brain disease now. <laughs> My dog has like rab rabid rabies now. Mm, yeah, this my dog has like maggots crawling in its ears or something. No, I guess he survived. Okay, he's not dead. <laughs> Thank God. I'll I'll do what no one else is doing and care about the human characters in the story. You can't do this. He's like, I'm sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> He's a stray dog. Yeah, I need to take him to dog. the stray dog center. You can't do this. No, I, if anything, I not only can, but I need to. Here's my <laughs> permit, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, you know, at this, in this time period, women, she's in hysterics. Exactly. <laughs> One minute she wants me to take the nasty dog. The next minute she's telling me not to. I know, it's like, control your woman! That's what would happen. <laughs> your woman has the vapor. Speak on her behalf, man. <laughs> She's obviously deranged. She wants this she... nasty street dog. She's in mass hysterics. He's so sweaty. I guess this was a time period where, like, AC didn't exist. Probably, yeah. And he pro probably had a little bit of a cold sweat whenever the my wagon broke in half jump scare happened. Yeah. He's just like, what the frick is going on? I'm I going would just, home. like, move to another city. Yeah. Move to a city, the, the city of, of hatred for dogs. Yep. I love you, CG dog. I love you too, CG dog. <laughs> We will dine on the baby together. Yes. <laughs> Their <course>. master plan. <laughs> <laughs> we need if we find one more companion that we will outnumber them. They cannot stop us. They have the neighbor dog. Oh yeah. They do. What is this? What is this? Did they release this know. for Christmas? Uh I don't know. Just because snow happens in a Disney movie doesn't mean it's a Christmas I movie. I mean, decorations, their hat. Listen, the end of Toy Story has Christmas, but it's not a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. Listen, Iron Man 3 happens around Christmas time, but it's not a Christmas movie. Christmas movie! <laughs> Excuse it's settled, me. Then. <laughs> The monster within has decided this argument is over. I hate... How did they, like... What's the opposite of progressing? Um... Regressing? <laughs> How did they rugrat their CG <laughs> for animals? Yeah, didn't they pioneer it? Like, come on. Yes! <laughs> like, I, you know, you got the Air Buddies, you got Beverly Hills Chihuahua, you've got... Chronicles of Narnia, oh, you've yeah. got, uh, well, I just, Stuart Little. Oh, yeah, Stuart Little was good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not necessarily Stuart. He didn't look like a real mouse, no. but Snowball looked like a real cat. I think that was its name. It was either Snowball so. or Snowbell. Um, yeah, and now they just look like CG monsters, because, I don't know, they're, like, trying to put more detail into it, and they just aren't there. And it's like, dude, 
they if only obviously oh, use sorry. real dogs. They should have used them more. Yeah, just like put a picture of a dog in Microsoft Paint and like do like the little nutcracker mouth mm -hmm. where you just like open it slightly <laughs> and just like go good. open close open close. <laughs> Yeah, if only there was some sort of way to give fake animals, like, make them look like they have a soul. Yeah. And make the world around them more colorful. I don't know. What is that? I wish there was, like, some sort of term for that. <laughs> like, cartoon. I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like they made it a cartoon for a reason. Because real dogs have, like, zero emotion on their face most of the time. Mm. And... You, I mean, some of the examples I gave, like whenever, uh, I probably mentioned it during the Lion King live action, uh, mess, in the Chronicles of Narnia, Aslan shows emotion in his face, yeah. but he still looks like a lion. Yeah. Like, he's happy when he sees the kids, he's, like, whenever he rises from the dead, he is sad whenever he... Uh, gives up his life for Edmund, and you can see that on his face. Yeah. You know? But then John Favreau's like, no, 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 we cannot do that. But Rafiki gets his stick at the end of the movie because that's cool. Because that's cool, yeah. Well, at least we have the stick. Yeah. At least then the stick, the stick is all the emotion you need in a movie. Hush banana something something bubbly blue bee bee ba booby. Hibbity hana scush banana hibbity hana. Georgia. Like, Georgia, thank you, the state of Georgia, for your cooperation. <laughs> In making this movie. Let's see if I recognize any of those names. Gentle Hawkins. <laughs> I don't. I recognize none of them. Except Clancy Brown. <laughs> Tramp Monty. Hi, my name is Tramp Monty. My name is Patrick Lips Williams. <laughs> they call me Lips. Uh -huh. I don't know why. I keep telling them there's someone in the credits named <laughs> Patrick Lips Williams. Patrick and, Lips Williams. Yeah, and Lips was in apostrophe, so that's what they call him. Mm, I see. They call they say, me hey, Lips. Hey, Lips. And I, he, he goes, stop calling me that. <laughs> well, you have some. Who doesn't? <laughs> well. Oh. <laughs> I guess people who, like, got them ripped off by, like, a chimpanzee or uh, something. Yeah, that happens. It does. Monkeys are scary. Yeah, monkeys are no good. Yeah. I have a friend who, like, uh, he works with animals like he's he's handled animals on like movie sets and stuff yeah and um he helped vo he volunteered at a zoo during like quarantine time and he said like there's a handful of animals i hate working with and one of them was orangutans yeah and the story he told me of going in there and how that thing like eyeballed him and was like profiling him <laughs> like in his brain yeah it sounded like he was describing, like, a little supervillain. Just like, I already know what kind of, you know, plans I have for that boy. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's like, like, I will use him in my grand scheme to escape. <laughs> yeah. I can see through him and his brain is weak. His brain is weak! <laughs> I can't imagine. Anyway, what'd you think of the movie? Um, absolutely bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't tuned in enough to have a, you know, opinion on it other than it wasn't good enough to keep my attention. Exactly. Bad. Yeah. It's not like Cats, Oof. where it's such a dumpster fire, you have to mute it and just not look at it and play Mario Kart yeah. to stop thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you feel like there is a tumor in your brain that's shaped like a, a humanoid cat. You just want to forget about it. Yeah. With this movie, I probably, I'll probably forget we filmed this yeah, when we're done. Yeah, I will probably forget almost instantly. What are greensmen? The men that are green. <laughs> you need those. 
to fight off those pesky blue man group oh, members. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> yeah. It, it's fun to fight them. There's just a bunch of blue man group members like rats scurrying around the studio. <laughs> They're like, bring in the greensmen! No! <laughs> it will be the fight to end all colors. <laughs> and green will win! Because green is the best. <laughs> Hopefully, we paid them to win. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this uh, riveting installment yep. of... Movie Grid! Yay! <laughs> Next week, we'll watch <laughs> something else. As we always do. Bye!